Last month, we looked at Calvin Stroud's £10,000 challenge regarding his buildings on a flat earth scenario. We answered all his questions, but unfortunately, I'm yet to hear personally from Calvin. Anyway, I said if that video reached 25,000 likes, I would make my own monetary challenge for the flat earthers. Well, so far it's reached 37,000 likes. So this is my $5,000 flat earth challenge. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a quick thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a VPN service that makes online privacy protection easy and attainable. Encrypting all internet traffic sent to and from your devices and ensuring that your IP address remains hidden to make sure nobody can see what you do online. On top of that, they block ads, trackers, malware and phishing attempts and unlike other VPN services you can use it on as many devices as you'd like simultaneously. Doing the job I do I spend as much time online as I do sleeping about six to eight hours a day. The internet knows a lot about you which is why we should care about our online data. ID theft is an increasingly common and scary crime. Use Surfshark and its hack lock system to get alerts anytime your email address or password is compromised. Hacklock scans various databases of leaked information and notifies its users if their data is found so they can take action. Click on the link in the description or go to surfshark.deal slash simandan and use my code simandan to get a whopping 83% off and three months extra free. Right, back to today's Flat Earther Challenge. Now I mentioned at the beginning that I didn't receive a personal response from Calvin Stroud and his £10,000 challenge video. However, a subscriber of mine did speak to him. Here is a short interaction between the two of them. I don't think Calvin will be paying up anytime soon. So my challenge is gonna come in three parts, and if you can successfully complete all three parts, then you'll be awarded with this very $5,000. So let's begin, shall we? Okay, the first part of my challenge involves flat earth photography and should be easy for any of you P1000 wielding flat earthers. We often see record breaking photos that are said to be impossible on a globe earth and of course you regularly wheel out the black swan as proof that it's flat. But this part of the challenge should leave us all in no doubt if you can get it right. All I'm asking for is a photograph of a target that is 50 miles away or more. There are a few stipulations though. The viewer or camera height must be no more than six feet above sea level. And the target of the photograph should be no more than 100 feet in elevation above sea level. I'd need proof of both of these things as well. If the earth really was flat, this bit should be a piece of cake. Right, on to part two. The second part of my challenge I shouldn't even be including. I'm practically giving you this one. Part two is all about rotation. Now, as we know, the angular velocity of the Earth is... A 15 degree per hour drift. Thanks, Bob. I even managed to get Bob in as an assistant for this challenge. Thanks to him. So yes, 15 degrees per hour. The Earth rotates and you flat earthers believe that it doesn't. So for this part, all I'm looking for is some experimental proof. Now Foucault's pendulum is a wonderful little device that can use the rotation of the earth to tell you roughly which latitude you are standing on. All you need to do is set one up with a device on the end that can draw the movement that the pendulum makes as shown in this video. Once you do this, you can then use this equation here to figure out your rough latitude. I will leave this video link in the description as a step-by-step -step guide. Now, all you have to do is provide me with a Foucault pendulum experiment at two different locations on Earth, each location being at least 10 degrees apart from each other. Don't worry, I'm not expecting you to travel. You can find a flat Earth friend who can do the other experiment for you. Now, if the experiments reveal that you are both on the latitude that the globe Earth expects you to be on, then you have proven Earth's rotation. So, in order to complete this challenge, you need to get a latitude result that is the same as your friends. 
If the Earth was flat and mo motionless, there should be no difference. A few stipulations here. As I said earlier, the two locations should be at least, at least 10 degrees apart. Uh, and also, you should both be in the same hemisphere. Also, I'll give you an error margin of one degree. So if, you're, if your results are within one degree of each other, I will accept that as you completing the challenge. Oh, and of course, I'd require video evidence of the experiments themselves and the results. Practically giving you that one, guys. Right, on to the final part of my challenge. Part three involves the stars. Now, we can all look up at the night sky and see the stars whenever we wish, assuming the weather is okay, of course. Now, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you can look up at the sky and you can see the Southern Cross. It is a very visible constellation. So, all I'm looking for in part three of your challenge is a flat Earth model that allows three different observers from three different locations to view the Southern Cross at exactly the same time. As you can see, the problem with the current Flat Earth model is when three observers in South Africa, Australia and South America all look due south, they would see very different stars. So to complete this challenge and bring home the bacon, I need a Flat Earth model that shows three observers from those three locations seeing the same stars whilst all looking south. In reality, of course, on the globe, we know that these three observers will see the same stars at the same time. So, Bit tricky, this one. Well, there we go. The three parts of my challenge have been laid out before you Flat Earthers. Complete all three parts of the challenge and this very $5,000 is yours. My email address will be in the description, so please do let me know via that if you manage to complete the challenge. Honestly, the challenge is impossible because the Earth isn't flat, but it'll be fun to watch them try. I'll also be keeping a tally of all the genuine attempts at this challenge on the wall right behind me. So we'll keep an eye out for that. So there we go, spread this video far and wide, show it to everyone you know. We need to get as many flat earth entries as we possibly can. That's it for me today. Thank you very, very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please do like and subscribe if you, if you did enjoy it. Just enough time to once again thank Surfshark for sponsoring. Remember, visit surfshark.deals slash simandan and use my code simandan to get a whopping 83% off and three months extra free. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great weekend and I'll see you all on Tuesday where someone tries to debunk pie. Ludicrous. See you then.